All right, guys, back out here again to try to replicate the same thing as yesterday. I mean, you have such a good day like that, you got to give it another go. And, uh, you know, starting off in the same area, protected by a north wind. That's uh, part of the formula I used to choose that area yesterday. So uh, let's get after it again and see what we can do today. I tell you what, we got a good picture yesterday. I'm not gonna do that again to them. This is a pretty good weighing fish though. And my scale's kind of dying, but that's about a four pounder at least. guys number two for the day gorgeous little larder of course missile base d bomb Woo. wheeling back and squealing drags oh god that feels so good i'm running out I'm running out running low there we go again. quick look at my setup there a little bead a little strike one ounce tungsten strike king braid to a uh, straight shank flipping hook. These is the style that I like. Those are the owner grip pins. But I do love the grip, or those, actually I take that back. I'm sorry, those are Mustad. I like the Mustad grip, grip pin series. I think one of the things I love about fishing grass like this is it's easy to be methodical about it. Put one out there further, don't get anything. Reel it up a little bit, let it, let it jump. Let it drop back down, nothing. Repeat, put it out there further. Big dog. He's just practice. <laughs> practice guy. What made what made those mats of over there so good? I have fish in them. Whoa! <laughs> Dang! I was sitting there thinking that. You're not happy about this, are you, buddy? Oh, yeah. Well, I am. <laughs> Woo! Been a little bit of a drought. Just so there trying to contemplate what made that other part so good. I soaked this lure, though. Woo! Another five pounder for the day, guys. Let her go. Thank you, fish. <laughs> That's what he thinks about it. So thank you back. Finally, I couldn't, couldn't believe that I wasn't getting anything on some of this wood, but I had to let, I let that one soak just a little bit more than I did any of the other ones that I've been doing here for the past hour and a half. So could be the key, could be the key that I've been missing, you know, been, been trying to cover too much water or something, need to just sell it down. Let's get number five. Oh my God. Oh Lord. 
again oh. <laughs> look at that spot on his tail that was the he never hit it hard he never gave me any head shake nothing just was on it another five pounder for the day <laughs> all right yeah you want back in thank you for the fight that was awesome I appreciate it. See if I can get you on camera. Get your, get your release on camera. So just stay in there. Get in this. Come on. Trying to pet his little ears. Pet his little ears. guys I'm gonna give a good estimate about 18 pounds thus far so followed up yesterday with not from 19 to 18 scoped out a newer area found some more fish found some more grass uh, you know I seem to be just judging everybody else like I'm the only one that's doing what I'm doing right now I don't see a lot of other boats a lot of other boats are working the weed line versus uh, punching just goes to show if you step out of, out of your wheel box, step out of your comfort zone and do the things that you don't, that you haven't done and get experience. I mean, you can just look at how thick this grass is right here. Um, and I'm just using a one ounce weight to get through it. If it gets a little hung up, shake it, let it drop, let it free spool down, hop it. That was again, another one that took time to for one for me to just detect the bite I just didn't think it was a fish uh, so that's another one just like my video <laughs> the other day to where I'm just like uh 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 die ah, that is a fish <laughs> you know but I was really you know at least during that one I was testing it a lot I was like that ah, I'm just gonna set it and sure enough you know another good fish uh, but let's get back after we got plenty of time switched over to strike king we ran out of ran out of the other juice but you know i picked for my next profile of a bait i picked something very similar to what that what the missile baits d-bomb does it has those those flappers and that's the uh the strike king uh, rage menace there it has those flappers so that when you pull it up it, it flaps up and then flaps down and the missile baits does the exact same thing but uh, the other next go-to is going to be the the Havoc, which I know I these are all baits I love and trust. I'll put the links down in the description. You can find them, Tackle Warehouse. Let's get after it. I was talking to my buddy Ken Smith, KenSmithFishing.com. Um, he was he was saying about how you know you need to get to where you can you can pull on them and detect it and tell just by pulling on them and letting them go. Like that helps you in, in tournament stuff. To All day, piggins. Pig. All right, guys, that's the 20 pound mark today, for sure. Look at the head on this guy. Oh, look at the head on that guy. Big old. Oh, look at that. 
<laughs> Loving these Texas bass. There you go, guys. 20 pound mark today, right there. All right, guys. Whew, let this beautiful fish go. Off she goes. Man, I if the went click, click over there. if those are spawn, whoo, man, I can tell that they're post spawn, that they're kind of feeding up again, and I mean, you can tell that one didn't have its belly, but my goodness, we'd probably been with that caliber of fish that we're catching today. Oh, I mean, it could be mid twenties to to thirties, but if they had had their spawn weight on them. Oh well, hey, still pretty daggum good. Loving it. Let's get back after. That's the first call of the day. So easily over the 20 pound mark. Still going. You were yep. Yeah, hooked in the man, those strike kings. A little bit more belly to that one. That's a little bit heavier of a fish. Adjusted and that they started moving out. There you go, guys. Just an overcome. Guys in a boat near us started, uh, they weren't near the mats, kind of like I've been having all my success in, but they were having success. And sure enough, the old jackhammer, the old jackhammer, the old jackhammer jacked him up. Oh, it's sweet pickup. Yeah. Sight Bates trailer on there. Running along the over there, the Alright y'all, another good day on the water with my mom as my special guest. I backboated her all day. She got a couple bites. She got the first fish. Overall, just, you know, built and expanded on kind of what I discovered yesterday and found new areas. Basically replicated. 20 pound bag today. Pretty excited about that. It is December 31st and I'm flipping and punching. Gotta be happy about that. Alright guys. Any of the baits that I use today between the uh, Strike King Rage Menace, the Excite Baits trailer on my jackhammer, and the also the Excite Baits Hogalicious, and of course the Missile Base D-Bomb can all be found down below. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all have a good one.